Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Jerry Views back with another video, and today I will show you guys 20 must have iOS 13 shortcuts. These are shortcuts that are very, very useful and, of course, will make your life easier. So, let's go ahead, let me show you guys. 20 shortcuts that you must have on your iOS 13 device. Starting off with reverse image search. This shortcut allows you to search for any image on Google. So basically you have like a picture that you want to search for on your photo library. All you gotta do is just copy that picture and then just go ahead and run the shortcut and it will of course search the internet and will find that image for you. So you have like an image that you wanna find on the internet. You wanna have a link of that image or something like that. You can do it simply by copying it and running the shortcut and as you can see right here it will find that exact image on the internet clipboard manager is the next one this one allows you to manage your clipboard so you just tap on the shortcut and it will show you a menu right here from where where you can upload you can edit your current clipboard just tap right there it will show you right here what you have on your clipboard you can go ahead and edit that and of course you have other options as well like down here you can see you can get the previous clip so the previous thing that you had copied on your clipboard and then you have other options here as well you can go ahead and clear the clipboard you can duplicate it or you can open urls if you have any urls copied on your clipboard auto message is the next shortcut for this video it allows you to schedule messages through the reminders app so basically you tap on the auto message shortcut and it will give you this list what you want to create right here you can tap right there to create an individual sms and then from here you can go ahead and just search the name of the contact and it will find the name of the contact on your contacts list and then you can just go ahead and enter anything you want on the message and then of course you can also attach a picture if you want to then from here you can go ahead and set the date and the hour when you want to send that message now the way it works is that once you tap ok right there you can see that it will basically give you a reminder when the time comes and once the time comes all you gotta do is just tap the shortcut once more and it will automatically send the message that you have scheduled next is water reject now this works similar to the water reject feature that we have on the apple watch so basically if water gets on the speakers of your iphone as it does on the apple watch you can run this shortcut to eject the water so basically it will play a bass that will help eject the water from the speakers of the iphone the next one is battery manager if you tap on the shortcut there you will see a list of things here so you will have the activate and deactivate buttons right there then you have two options here you have fast charge and ultra low power mode now with fast charge that will help you to charge your iphone faster by disabling a lot of things on your iphone in order for the battery to be preserved and the iphone to charge faster then you have ultra low power mode now of course low power mode will preserve your battery ultra low power mode will do that and will do even extra so once you tap on it it will enable like this ultra low power mode and everything will be turned off in order for the battery to be preserved charging notification is another one that has to do with the battery now what this does is that it will show you a notification once the battery charge has reached the level that you want now if you tap on the shortcut you will have the option here to choose between different percentages or you can go ahead and enter any percentage that you want and then once the charge has reached that percentage it will send you a notification the next one is fast charge now this one is similar to battery manager what it does is that it will make your iphone charge faster so you tap on it and from here you will be able to enable fast charge what that does is that will turn off a lot of things even will give you the option to turn off your iphone but it will turn off like a lot of things and you can see right here when you, when it's done it will give you the option to turn on the bluetooth if you want to turn off the low power mode when it's done so just basically gives you those options the things that it disables it will give you the option to choose whether you want to enable them or not once you're done with this shortcut auto safari scroll is a shortcut for the safari app so you tap the share button and you scroll down right here and you will find right here your shortcuts so all you gotta do is just tap on safari auto scroll and what this does is that it gives you the option here to choose the millisecond so let's choose that one 
and you can see right now it will automatically scroll now this is very useful if you're reading something you can of course choose it to scroll slower you're reading something you don't have to swipe up or swipe down you can see here it will do everything automatically for you you don't even need to touch your iphone combined screenshot allow combined screenshots allows you to easily combine screenshots or even other pictures into one so all you got to do is just tap on the shortcut it will take you to, the, to your photo library and just go ahead and choose the pictures that you want to use and from here just click done and you will see right now it will of course let's go ahead and set a name here and as you can see it will combine all of them into one picture and then you can go ahead tap the share button right there and you can go ahead and save the image on the photo library of your iPhone. Text effects is the next shortcut for this video. So basically it allows you to enter any text that you want and then you can add different effects to that text. So you enter the text and then you will see right here a few different like different effects that you can add. And as you can see here, you can just go ahead and tap copy to clipboard and that text will be copied to the clipboard with that effect as you can see as easy as that you can add those cool effects to your text and then of course you can use that to share on your social media or anywhere you want all in one utilities is one of the most complete shortcuts that you can get for your iphone so once you tap on the shortcut you will see here a list of like different things that it can do so right here at the top you can see it will show the version of the shortcut then it will show you your time your carrier it will show you the battery and all that then you have here like different utilities so if you go to system right there you can use ultra low power mode you have like show clipboard you can see right there it shows you your clipboard basically you can do a ton of things it's just huge it has a ton of things you can see right here tap on the media you can convert audio video convert give download web page content a lot of stuff can be done with this one shortcut now, i'm not going to go through all the things because it's, it has a lot but of course go ahead and give it a try it is really really awesome and one of the biggest shortcuts that you can get on your ios 13 device google translate is a shortcut that allows you to easily and quickly translate anything you want so you can of course use your clipboard or you can enter any text you want like and you can go ahead tap ok and then it will give you a few options here to which language you want to translate that and as you will see it will show you the translation right there and you can go ahead and easily copy it to your clipboard get lyrics is next this one will find the lyrics of the current playing song so you're playing a song on the apple music app all you gotta do is just tap on this shortcut and it will automatically find the lyrics for that song exif photo details will give you details about your picture so you go ahead tap on the shortcut tap on select picture and you can go ahead and choose any picture that you want click done and as you will see right here it will show you all the details regarding that picture so you can see here everything you need to know about that picture from the resolution to the name everything the size here everything will be right here Apple beta profile is up next. It allows us to easily install the beta profiles if you want to install beta software on your iPhone. So you can see right here, you can choose dev beta or public beta, whichever one you want. So just tap right there and you can choose here like where you want to install that on your iPhone, Apple Watch, Apple TV or Mac OS. So choose the iPhone if you're on an iPhone and it will take you directly to the profile all you gotta do now is just tap allow right there and you will be able to install the profile which lets you install beta software on your iPhone media kit iPhone mockups allows you to put your pictures into iPhone frames so what you gotta do is just tap on the shortcut go ahead and choose the picture that you want and then it will show you here a list of all the iPhones that it supports go ahead choose one of them and then all you gotta do is just choose the color of the iphone and as you can see tap on generate mockup right there and as you can see now it will put your picture into an iphone frame based on the iphone that you choose then just force touch on it tap add to pictures and you're good to go it will be saved under the camera roll of your iphone the next one is called date calculator and this one is really interesting and very useful as well so what it does is that it calculates the dates between different dates so you tap on the shortcut and you can see here we have a few options so you can calculate dates between 
add or subtract number of days or working days so you can see if i tap on working days so start date october 3rd which is today click ok and then end date let's go here to 2020 december not let's go to january click ok and it will show me the number of working days until that date so that's not all the days just the working days as easy as that it will calculate that for you network tool is the next one for this video so basically this is the only shortcut you need for your network it will show you your information you can do a, a ping test or you can do a speed test so you can see the ping test right here you can also go ahead and quickly do a speed test from here you can go ahead and of course check the speed of your internet as easy as that you will have a bunch of options right there that have to do with the network of your iPhone. iToggle is the next one for this video. This will be better used if you put it on the widgets panel and from there you will have quick access to toggle on and off like different stuff on your iPhone. So you will have automatic toggles or manual toggles and you have here like do not disturb low power mode and cellular data and you can go ahead and from here just basically enable or disable them. And last but not least, of course, is quick controls. This one lets you control a few things on your iPhone. So first of all, you can go ahead and tap on settings and you can go ahead and turn on or off anything from the airplane mode to Bluetooth, flashlight, low power mode, ultra low power mode, Wi-Fi and all of that. And if you go back right here, we'll also have the system right here. So basically it will show you everything you need to know about your device. And then you also have apps like you can go ahead and tap like Instagram and you can go ahead and quickly post on Instagram directly using the shortcut. So that's it for this video guys, these are 20 shortcuts that you must have on your iOS 13 device. I tried to pick some really really useful ones that you will use daily on your iPhone on iOS 13. Now if you want to get any of these on your iPhone, make sure you check out the pinned comment. You will find the links right there to all the shortcuts that I showed on this video. Thank you guys for watching, don't forget to leave a like if you did enjoy the video. Also don't forget to subscribe for more videos, I'll see you on the next one.